Writing a rate law for a given reaction always follows the same format. I wrote up an example reaction here in blue, 3A plus 2B goes to 5C, and if I wanted to write the rate law for this reaction, it would look like what I have in red here. So we say rate, or the overall rate of the reaction in molarity per second, or change in concentration per change in time, equals K, the rate constant, and the units of K actually depend on the situation, times the concentration of the reactants. So A and B, the concentration of A times the concentration of B. And these are of course in units of molarity, concentration, and they're actually raised to some exponents. And those exponents here are X and Y, and these have to be determined with experiments. So notice how they don't have anything to do with the stoichiometric coefficients here. It's a common mistake to say, oh, x is gonna be three here, because three times a, and y is gonna be two. No, you have to find x and y with experiments. And we refer to these as the orders. So in other words, if x turned out to be two, we would say that this reaction was second order in a. If y turned out to be three, for example, we would say that this reaction was third order in B. And if we add those exponents together, x plus y, we get what's called the overall order of the reaction. So if x were two and y were three, it would be two plus three is five, and we would say the overall order of the reaction was five. 